given that f of x is, uh, this is an exponential function, and b greater than zero, they should also say b does not equal one. Uh, f of one equals negative six, so negative six is here, equals a b to the power of one, but that's just power of one, so that, that that's all it is. And then f of negative one is, so again, negative three halves, equals a b to the negative one, let's find a. So I'm gonna solve this, so it's the same thing as this. Uh, let's solve this equation here for b. That way we can plug it into here and solve for a. Um, I'm gonna flip this side, two thirds equals b over a. I'm just flipping both of these things. And multiplying by a over, I get um, b equals negative two thirds times a. Plugging that into this equation, I get negative six equals a times negative two thirds times a. Uh, multiplying by three over negative two, the other side, negatives cancel. Uh, divided by two is three, three times three is nine equals a squared. And taking the square root is gonna give us um, plus or minus three. Now it says it wants a, uh, you know, find a, I'm assuming it wants us to find a single answer. So let's go ahead and test these values. We plug it, um, a equal to positive three into here, right? That means B would have to be uh, negative two, but B is greater than zero and not equal to one. So that can't be possible. A has to be um, a negative three for this, this whole situation to work. So A, a is negative three.